Hey guys, welcome to Dylan's Little Hobbies, and today I am going to react to Dragon Ball Super, the Mastered Ultra Instinct form of Goku. Now, I'm about to watch the episode, I'm not going to show you guys my entire reaction to the episode. I'm sorry, I just, I don't want to get in trouble or anything for it. I just, I don't want to deal with copyrights or anything like that. I just want to show you guys my reaction to when Goku finally transforms into Ultra Instinct, and that is what I'm going to do. Now, I have to stay somewhat quiet, because it is actually midnight here where I live, and it's very, very late at night. I know I should probably do this video tomorrow, but I just can't wait. I just, I just can't wait. So, I have to stay just a little bit quiet, but other than that, I think this is going to be absolutely awesome. Now, I can't show you guys, uh, I cannot show you guys the footage because of copyrights and all that. I'm not going to be turning down the sound. Well, I'm going to be turning it down a little because I have to stay a little quiet. It is midnight and everyone else I know is asleep in my house, so I have to stay Quite enough to let them sleep, but nonetheless, I cannot wait to see this uh, episode, and I cannot wait to see what my own reaction to Goku's Ultra Instinct form is going to be. Without further ado, though, let's uh, let's begin. Okay, guys, so I got my phone here, and I am going to be watching it now. Oh, that is such a cool shot of him, like, oh, wow, and the music's starting to ramp up. What did he just do? An attack actually hit Jiren. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on here, guys? So his energy is just like everywhere, and it's sending out all of this power, and it's even affecting Jaren, and everyone can feel the heat. Amazing. The animation on this episode is... I don't think it's the best animation I've seen out of Dragon Ball. I hate to tell you that, but uh, I do like it. Stoppable? Absolute. Power.
you know, as a fan of Dragon Ball, if you just sit back and enjoy this, this is just so much fun. They've just hyped this up so well. Oh, well. Goku's hair just turned white and they disappeared. Well, he disappeared. There's Jiren. What the heck? He- he caught the blast! What, where's Frieza? That, that's my only question, is where the heck is Frieza? That's so cool. His hair's white. His hair's white. That eye. Okay, that is the episode, guys. That is my reaction to, um, Goku's new form. I don't know if I like the way he got it. That, that's, that's the only thing that I don't like, and... I keep- I kept thinking through this entire episode, where's Frieza? Where's Frieza? I was kind of hoping that would be Frieza's sacrifice, uh, that would cause something internal for Goku, Ultra Instinct Goku, to finally master the Ultra Instinct form. That didn't happen. That's why I was hoping it would happen. Now that Goku has the Ultra Instinct form, I'm telling you, I I liked it. I don't think I loved it. I liked it, but from what we saw, I mean, definitely we have to see the next episode. I have to see the next episode, but from what I saw from this episode, I don't know. It wasn't. It was really cool. I don't think the animation was. As great as I've seen in other episodes of uh, the Tournament of Power. Although the animation, no joke, it, it's been amazing. No, nonetheless, it was really good animation. I just think we've had better animation in the past. And perhaps they're going to do way better animation. They're saving their big animation parts for the next couple of episodes. Since we only have, like, what, two, three episodes left? Um... I'm almost speechless to that. That was actually, that was actually pretty cool. That was actually pretty, pretty darn cool. You know what? I was going to review, do a separate review for this episode, but I'll just review it right now here. I thought the episode was cool. Not a lot happened other than the fight between Jiren and, Go uh, and Goku. Where the heck is Frieza is all I had in my mind. The entire episode and Goku's new form I liked it I didn't love it and you know what it's the same thing with the Ultra Instinct the first form I when I first saw the Ultra Instinct form I it, I didn't even like that I 
I thought I had mixed feelings about the Ultra Instinct form with the black hair. I like it now that it has the white hair, for some reason I just do, and the aura is really cool. I wish it had a little bit more red in the aura, like we saw from that poster a long time ago. From this poster here, I'll, I'll show you a picture of it here. Um, yeah, I, I liked the episode. I wouldn't say it's my my best, and I didn't. I won't even say that. Compare if I'm go if I'm comparing Goku's Ultra Instinct Master form to Goku's Ultra Instinct form. I think the reveal of Goku's Ultra Instinct form was better than the uh, than the reveal we have here. Even though it was really cool. I just think the way they did it back then looked more impressive. Here he's just kind of standing and we he's not making much movement. Like I understand why though. He's so fast we can't see his movements. It's, it's really awesome, but we saw the slow motion effects that they did when they first revealed Ultra Instinct to us uh, when he was against Jiren, I thought was I think it was just done better back then than it was in this episode. My opinion, but I still love the episode. I I like the form. I like the form more. I like the way it looks more than the form with the uh, uh, the black hair. Just because I don't know. I like the hair uh, the hair being a different form. I guess and go uh, Goku. Other than that, nothing's really changed. Uh, other than, of course, the increase in power, obviously, but, uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. That is also, that is my review and reaction to this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Like, share, subscribe. I cannot wait for next episode. Bye!